Do your users struggle with awareness of important data and tasks? Do they struggle with screens that have too many irrelevant data fields? Then you should consider JD Edwards UX1. UX1 allows you to easily configure and personalize JDE for your JDE users in many functional areas. In this video, you will learn how to easily configure and personalize a UX1 page. JD Edwards Enterprise One provides 52 unique UX1 roles for your organization to use. In this video, we will give an example specifically for the procurement users. Suppose the procurement team has approached you with a series of requirements such as 1. They want to know the number of purchase orders that are on hold so that they can review those orders and then release them. Two. They want to review the purchase orders awaiting approval, then have a compact view of the purchase orders in the grid and also want to view all the approvers on the order. This will make it easy to approve specific orders. 3. The procurement team wants to review blanket orders that are expiring in the next few months so as to follow up with the respective suppliers and know when those orders will be delivered. Four. They want to analyze open purchase orders by suppliers. 5. They want to generate a report with a summary of purchase order by supplier for their management to review the spend by supplier. Now instead of accessing different applications or batch via FastPath, you can easily leverage a delivered UX1 page, personalize it and obtain the information you need. Let's see how. Open the UX1 page delivered for the procurement manager role that is the procurement manager approval UX1 page. Notice that you already have two alerts which you need. The first alert is the held purchase orders. This alert tells users how many purchase orders are on hold and it is based on the held order release program. When you click this alert the system displays the work with held orders form. So users can review the orders that are on hold from this form and then release them. This addresses the first requirement that is verify purchase orders on hold. Then for the next requirement of tracking purchase orders needing approval, use the next alert that is the orders awaiting approvals. This alert tells users how many purchase orders are awaiting approval and it is based on the purchase order approvals program. When you click this alert, the system displays the work with orders awaiting approval form. Let us personalize this form to match your organization's use and terminology to make it easier for our users. Select the personal form icon on the far right of the application. You can then see the personal forms manager. For the current requirement, the limit selection group box seems irrelevant. Hence, it can be removed by selecting the minus icon on that group box. Notice that the fields removed from the header are available in the personal forms manager and it can be added back to the form if needed. Then, suppose business unit is the terminology used in the organization then the label branch plant can be renamed to business unit. For this, select the branch plant label and then right click. Select the rename label and type business unit. Notice the label has been changed to business unit. And if you want to mark a field as required, then right click on the field and you can mark it as required as shown. Then drag the business unit field below the order type and then the order selection group box to the right in the header as shown. To update the tab sequence, you can choose edit tab sequence checkbox in the personal forms manager. Save the form personalization as demo approval header. Close the personal forms manager. You can now view the personal form showing the changes you just made. Then, the procurement team wanted to have a compact view of specific fields in the grid of this application. For this, select the Personalize Grid option. The Grid Format Manager is displayed. Select the List View option. 
This list view option lets you stack columns vertically so that the information displayed in the grid is compact. In the grid format manager layout section click the plus button. A drop down with the list of available columns are displayed. You can now add the columns of your choice in the grid. For example we will add order number, order type, order company, order date in the first row. Notice that we can add label only or both label and value. In this example we are adding both label and value. Similarly in the next row add order amount, currency code, supplier address number and supplier name and in the third row add hold code, approval root code, originator and request date. The format of the grid will look as shown in the screen. You can also rename the fields that you added in the grid by choosing the edit icon on the field. For instance, to change ORTY to order type, select the edit icon on the field. Then rename the field to order type. Similarly, you can rename other fields based on your organization's need. The final grid format is as shown in the screen. Then save the personalized grid as demo grid and close the side panel. You can now view the application with the personalized grid. There was one more requirement from the procurement team in this application that is to view approvers for the purchase orders awaiting approval. To meet this requirement you can utilize the Cafe One layout that has been delivered with the orders awaiting approval application. Click the drop down in the layout option and then choose procurement manager approvals layout. This Cafe One layout forms a dynamic link between orders awaiting approval form and the approval level revisions form. Hence, for each order in the grid, the approvers on the approval root code of the purchase order can be viewed. This completes the second requirement of tracking purchase orders needing approval. Close the application to get back to the UX1 page. For the third requirement, that is, to know the blanket orders that are expiring, you can personalize this Procurement Manager UX1 page to add the required component. To personalize this UX1 page, first save this UX1 page with a new name and description. To do this, click the down arrow on the far right of the banner bar. Then click Manage Content and then Compose Pages. Then Update the description to PO Quick Review and product code to 55. Click Save. Then enter new name as PO Quick Review and click OK. Now this newly saved UX1 page is rendered in edit mode for you to personalize. Based on your organization's need, you can choose to delete alerts that are irrelevant from this UX1 page. This can be done by clicking the delete button on the chosen alert or watch list. Since the requisition based alerts are not required, they have been deleted from this UX1 page. Then the procurement team wanted to review the number of expiring blanket orders. For this, click the plus button. From the list of existing watch lists, that are displayed, select the expiring blanket orders watch list and notice that it gets added as one of the alerts. This alert is based on the expiring blanket orders inquiry program and it tells users how many blanket orders are going to expire soon. Hence, this personalization completes the third requirement. After personalizing the alerts, let's move to the analytics. JDE UX1 allows you to personalize the analytics as well. Since this role does not need to view the open orders by fiscal period, let's delete that by clicking the delete button on the chart. The procurement team wants to instead analyze the open orders by supplier. To bring in this analytic, you can replace the existing analytic number of requisitions by buyer by selecting the inspect icon. Then from the form drop down select the open orders by supplier analytic. The open orders by supplier analytic is displayed. This chart tells users how many blanket orders purchase orders are open for each supplier. Hence the fourth requirement is met with this personalization. A note 
The JDE UX1 also allows you to personalize the springboard by using the inspect icon to edit the springboard or the delete icon to delete the springboard. The next task is to access the report that provides a summary of purchase orders by supplier from this UX1 page. JDE UX1 allows you to add a button through which you can call an application, batch, watchlist, task or ADF application. To add a button in this UX1 page, click the create new content in the top banner. Then select designer pane. Then drag the designer pane to the area below the alerts. Provide the name as designer pane and mark the initial total columns as 1 and the initial total rows as 1 and click OK. Then edit the default page title using the edit icon. Rename it as report as shown. Then in the newly added tile select the plus button. In the tile type select batch version. Then enter the batch version ID as R43415 and then select the appropriate version of the batch. Enter the report title as PO summary by supplier and then click OK. This report prints the purchase order information by supplier and by business unit. You can review individual amounts for each purchase order including the amount received and the amount open. You can also review the total amount for all purchase orders. This completes the last requirement provided by the procurement team. You can now save the UX1 page and close it. In this video, we have shown you how to transform the Procurement Manager Approval UX1 page to a personalized PO Quick Review UX1 page to meet your business requirements. In summary, JD Edwards UX1 pages implement the Alert, Analyze and Act model, bringing together the pieces of information that you need in specific job roles. As we have just shown, these UX1 role-based pages can be configured and personalized to meet your specific needs, creating an optimized user experience. To learn more about UX1, visit us online at learnjde.com. Thanks for watching. Thank you.